Hey everyone, Andy here with RDP Soft. Today's demo is going to focus on the steps you need to take to install the brand new Remote Desktop Reporter agent in version 2.7. With the introduction of this new agent, our Remote Desktop Reporter solution can now monitor activity on virtual desktops and physical desktops instead of just SBC platforms like RDS and Citrix Synapse. The agent also allows you to gather tons of session-specific performance metrics, like CPU and memory usage by session, TCP and UDP ports that are open by programs in each session, and even allows you to capture screenshots. Okay, so before we go much further, please maximize this video to full screen so you can see everything I'm doing more clearly. Also, I wanted to point out that everything I'm discussing in today's demo can be found in the Remote Desktop Reporter Agent Deployment Guide. This is installed automatically as a PDF file in the Remote Desktop Reporter Programs group. So feel free to make reference of it as I continue through this demo. Installing the agent is broken up into two parts. First, you need to install both the agent service and in-session agent processes to all RDS, ZenApp, or Horizon View servers or physical desktops you want to obtain these advanced performance metrics on. If you're also utilizing a VDI solution like Zen Desktop, you need to install these components on the master image that is the basis for all of these VDIs and then force a refresh so that all of your virtual desktops will have these new components available. Secondly, you need to make sure that whenever a user starts a session on an RDS or Zen app server or logs on to a virtual desktop or physical desktop that the in-session agent process gets launched and that it launches with the desired monitoring level for that class of user. Okay, installing the agent components to each server, physical desktop, or master VDI image is very easy. You'll see that the folder containing the agent installer is placed in the Remote Desktop Reporter Programs group. Copy this installer to a special location, such as a file share, so you can access it from any system when performing the install. Note that you can do this install manually, or you can script a silent automated install. The syntax for how to do that is outlined in your agent deployment guide I mentioned above. Note. Make sure that each system you install the agent components on has at least version 3.5 or version 4.0 of the .NET framework. This shouldn't be an issue for Windows Server 2008 or Windows Server 2012, but for older platforms like Windows Server 2003, you will need to install at least version 3.5. Now that the agent components are installed, you can see that there are several files in the installation directory. you'll see RDR Agent Service, which is the service executable installed on each system. You'll also see the RDP RDR Agent Process. This is the in-session agent process that is launched via logon script when anyone establishes a session on the server or logs on to a physical desktop or virtual desktop. Now we need to make sure that the appropriate in-session agent process gets launched when users log on and or establish a terminal server session. The easiest way to do that is via group policy, specifically by using the group policy management console. If you don't have the group policy management console installed, you can add it quickly using either the command line in the case of Windows Server 2008 or via PowerShell in the case of Windows Server 2012. Here's the syntax to use on each operating system. On Windows Server 2008, from an administrator command line, you can type in all one word, server manager cmd space hyphen install space gpmc. On a Windows Server 2012 system, from the PowerShell command line, 
you can type in install hyphen windows feature space hyphen name space GPMC. Also, if you're following along in the Agent Deployment Guide, there's a link to Microsoft that outlines how to install this tool. If you're running Windows Server 2003, you'll need to download the Group Policy Management Console installer package from Microsoft. Now that this tool is installed, here are the remaining steps you need to take. To invoke the in-session agent, with a login script, you'll need to take the following actions in order. First, locate the sample logon scripts that RDPSoft has provided for you, which are installed on the Remote Desktop Reporter system under the Agent Installer subdirectory. You'll notice three levels of logon script, RDR level 1, RDR level 7, and RDR level 15. RDR level 1 is basic session monitoring metrics for non-RDS or Zen app platforms, such as idle active session time, basic process information, and other items from physical and virtual desktops. Level 7 monitoring includes the level 1 metrics, plus advanced performance monitoring metrics such as CPU and memory usage by session, TCP and UDP connections by session, as well as application window captions. Level 15 monitoring includes the level 1 and level 7 metrics, plus provides session recording via periodic screen captures. You can use these sample logon scripts as they are written, or you can customize the batch files. For instance, if you change the default installation directory on the systems where you install the agent components, you would want to change the path statement. Next, you'll want to take these sample logon script batch files and place them in a centrally accessible location, such as the net logon directory for your domain. Next, you'll want to create one global security group in your domain per monitoring level. If your Active Directory structure already has global groups that contain users that correspond to the different monitoring levels you plan to use, you can skip this step. However, if you're creating these groups for the first time, you'll then want to place the corresponding users into these global groups. You can do all of this via the Active Directory Users and Computers snap-in. Again, make sure that you've placed the appropriate logon scripts into a centrally accessible directory, such as the net logon directory for your domain. Next, open the Group Policy Management Console. Using the Group Policy Management Console, create one Group Policy object per monitoring level. Place each Group Monitoring Policy object at the top level of the domain forest or at the top level organizational unit or container that houses the corresponding users. Edit each newly created Group Policy object and under User Configuration, Policies, Windows Settings, expand the scripts, log on, log off node. Make sure you click the Standard tab, then double click on the Log on item. Here's where you can add reference to the particular script you want to be loaded 
for that particular monitoring level GPO. Once you have edited all of the GPOs you have created, restrict the users that each GPO will apply to by using the Scope tab in the Group Policy Management Console. Under Security Filtering, remove the Authenticated Users group if it's there, and then add the corresponding Global Security group you created at the beginning to this particular GPO. By doing so, you're correlating the users in that group with this group policy object and making sure that only the users in that group get this particular logon script and group policy object when they log on. Now, when a user logs on to any physical desktop, virtual desktop, or server-based computing system, such as RDS, ZenApp, or Horizon View in your environment, the RDP RDR agent in session agent process will be launched with the appropriate monitoring level and will begin transmitting information to the remote desktop reporter agent service and on to the main remote desktop reporter database. You can verify that the in session agent processes are being started up via your GPO and logon script by loading Windows Task Manager on your servers. And you'll notice in this example one RDP RDR agent process has been loaded for each user. Also note that for all non-administrator users, users cannot terminate this process that's running in their session. Only administrators can terminate the process. Well, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching this demo about how to install the Remote Desktop Reporter agent components on your network. If you have any other questions, sales, support, or otherwise, please visit us online at www.rdpsoft.com. Thanks again. We hope you enjoy the software.